Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from tech for all This is Saifuddin Ghanizada. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can enable the Mac filtering on Windows Server 2019 DHCP server. How you can allow or block specific Mac addresses on your network. Let's start. Open the Server Manager. Click on the Tools menu and select DHCP from the menu. Expand the DHCP server and then click on the IPv4 option. Click on the filters. Before we enable the MAC filtering, you should know that if you enable the MAC filtering, you will add an extra layer of security to your network. Even if someone finds the Wi-Fi password or they connect through a network cable to your network, if you do not allow your MAC addresses in the DHCP server, they will not be able to access your network or any other resources on the network. Now, let's start enabling the MAC filtering. Click on the Allow option under Filters, right-click on it, and then select Enable. Now, you have enabled the Allow option of MAC filtering. We will do the same for the Deny. Now that the Mac filtering is enabled, first of all, let's check the two client computers that I have Windows 11 and Windows 10, whether they can access the network or not. Let's switch to the Windows 11 client computer first. I have signed in to the Windows 11 client computer using one of the client's username and password. The computer is joined to the domain now let's check whether it can access the network or not. As you can see, the IP address of 52 is assigned by the DHCP server. Let's enable and disable the Ethernet adapter so that it can recheck for connection. Right click on the Ethernet adapter, disable it. Right click again and select enable. Let's check whether an IP address is assigned or not. As you can see that DHCP server has not given an IP address because the MAC address is not added into the allow section under filtering. Let's switch to another client computer. This is a Windows 10 computer. This client computer is also joined to the domain. Let's check whether it is assigned an IP address or not. Yes, it's assigned the IP address of 53. Let's disable the adapter. Now, let's enable it back. Let's check whether the DHCP server has assigned an IP address or not. As you can see, no IP address is assigned by the DHCP server. Let's switch back to the server. Now I have to add the MAC addresses of Windows 11 and Windows 10 client computers so that they should be able to access the current network. Let's check the MAC addresses. As you can see that this one is the Windows 11 client computer and this one is the Windows 10 client computer. Let's add their MAC addresses into the allow option under filters. You can add a MAC address into the allow or deny option by two methods. The first method is click on the allow option, right click on it and select new filter from the right click menu. Here you can add the MAC address and add the description for it the MAC address will be added to the Allow section. But if you have devices which was previously connected to your network, go to the Address Leases option, right-click on a record, 
select add to filter and then if you want to allow the device select allow and if you want to deny a device click on the deny option the devices will be added to the list of allow and deny under filters menu as you can see that windows 11 client computer can access the network but windows 10 client computer cannot access the network because i have blocked its mac address let's switch back to windows 11 computer first and see whether it can access the network or not we have to enable and disable the ethernet adapter again As you can see that the domain name is now detected and the IP address is reassigned by the DHCP server. Let's ping the DHCP server whether it has connection to the DHCP server or not. As you can see that it can ping the DHCP server which means that there is network connection between Windows 11 and the DHCP server. Let's check the Windows 10 client computer. We have to do the same process, enable and disable the Ethernet adapter. As you can see that DHCP server has not assigned an IP because we have blocked the MAC address of this client computer. Let's go back and then allow the MAC address and check again whether it can communicate to the server or not. Let me copy the MAC address. and remove this record. Now that I have removed the record, let's allow its MAC address. Select the allow option under filters menu, right click on it and select new filter from the right click menu. Write down the MAC address and give a description for it. Click on the add button. Now the MAC address is added. Let's go back to the Windows 10 client computer and check the network connections. Again, I have to disable the Ethernet adapter and then enable it back. As you can see that it has detected the domain name, which means that DHCP server has assigned an IP to this device. Now let's ping whether it can communicate with the DHCP server or not. Yes, it can communicate with the DHCP server. And that's all for today. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.